Mates, welcome to Find the Mates. I'm back with another Clip Studio Paint tutorial video. Um, I've been re receiving a lot of comments on the how to animate in Clip Studio Paint um, tutorial video I did about four months ago, and I tried to reply to most of them. But one I've been receiving quite often is if there is a way to import images directly into the timeline so you can use them as a reference or just build upon them as a sketch um, you name it and i found a way to do that so i'll walk you guys through the video if you're not familiar with animating in clip studio paint itself or the program i um, recommend you check out the how to animate in clip studio paint video i did i'll leave a link in the the uh, the cards above in, at the top that you can just click it and go watch it and then you can come back and continue with this video um so yeah let's just create a animation um again i won't go into any detail here because i covered it in the other video that's more a global approach to uh, animating clip studio paint so um we'll create a new file and um i have the folder here beside me of the images i want to import the images i want to import are p uh, png with no background so the things you'll want to focus on are the timeline and the layer section here beside me i'll point it out with my mouse so um what you'll want to do is you'll want to drag the images into the layer section which i'll be doing right now so i'll drag them as you can see dragging dragging and i want to place them in the animation folder and not um outside of if because if you place outside it will still um let's see let's place it outside it will still appear on the timeline but you will just get a bunch of it and they won't be stacked neatly and uh, they will just like create a whole mess in your timeline so just place it in the folder as you can see it's in the folder but it won't appear immediately on the timeline so don't worry you didn't do anything wrong i'll go ahead and delete this layer over here and here i'll just um, also I'll remove it and what i want to do is i'll go over to the animation folder layer that which i'll rename ref to just see it. as you can see the same thing happened on the layer section ref and I'll right mouse click and there you can see hi there, which is the the file name. Um, it's hi there underscore zero 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 zero. That's a long ass name, but yeah, it's just there. And as you can see, it immediately appeared on the timeline and on the canvas and you have it there on your layer section. I'm going to rename it um, to one just to make things easier because long names don't go well on this um, timeline. And there you have it, um, the image imported on the timeline and that's all you have to do actually. That's how the layer and the timeline in Clip Studio Paint are connected. I'll do another one because this hide there is a five sequence um, thingy I did, just a spontaneous wave. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll first I'll just import um, all the images. I'll just post them here another one another one another one no that's the last one <laughs> okay let's um i'll rename them just to make things easier for myself three four and five i can count Yay. okay and just like i um did previously with the number one i'll just go over to the the place I want them on the timeline, you can just select where you want, right mouse, right, right mouse click, you'll get a list and you can just um, choose the image you want. So here I'll put two, here I'll put three, um, here I'll put four, here I'll put five. And something went wrong with the fifth one. Ah, it's, it's scaled too big. So um, let's talk about the uh, the cons about um, importing your images this way. Um, that's one con. You they won't be automatically placed in um, a correct order so that the all the the sizes are the same. Which, as you can see, with the last image, um, a nice example. It's not the same size as, as the other images, which I actually made sure were the same size so it would play neatly. Um, after each other but the fifth image um the size isn't the same so if you if the the images you import and you want them to play as an animation but they vary in size 
you'll get um, some issues there so the images you import and you want them to play as an animation um, a great tip would be to just make sure they're the same size so that's I'll see if I can like um, yeah it, it jumps I can see it it jumps from one to the other let's um let's turn on the onion skins let's see if i can just get it to not jump as much so yeah that's better it's not perfect but it works so um the images you imported um let's um let's shorten the loop because it's too long okay the loop is shorter now so Okay, so it plays, as you can see, the images I imported, um, they play as an animation, yay. Um, the images right now, they're not rasterized, so you can't draw on, uh, draw on them, you can um, um, change the size. So, But if you want to be able to edit the images, like erase, draw upon them, and not use them as a reference, you can just go to the layer section, select the image, right mouse click, and you'll get the rasterize option. and. Um, you lose the option to edit the image away. You can still do that if you hit Control T. As you can see, you can change the size. Whoa! Uh, but if you don't rasterize it, you won't be able to draw. As you can see, it gives me the symbol that I can't make any changes. But if I rasterize it, I can do what I want. Freedom. So that's about it to importing images directly onto the timeline this is the way i know to how to do it if you have a different approach um, don't be afraid to share it um i'm sure people would be curious if there's maybe a faster way i mean this is kind of a a detour to be honest but it works and if you want to like if you have a a certain type of animation you want played in the timeline and you did it and you want you don't want to redo it this is a great way to just get it in the timeline and you can just play with it and make changes to it or use it as, as, as a reference. Maybe like me, this is my reference. So I would create a new folder, um, a new layer, have this reference opacity like decreased a bit. And I start in a new layer on a new animation cell and just like, um, work it out detail it um find um finish it so yeah this is uh one of the ways to do it or the way i do it i'll quickly import another illustration this is uh one of my most recent paintings oh wait i need to do it in the folder yeah it's in the folder so as you can see this is one of my most recent paintings i'll leave a a notification notification card so you can go check out the digital painting and again it's right now it's on one so i'll right click that cloud it and there you have the painting import it into the timeline so you can you kind of get the idea of the things you can do by importing images into the timeline and it only works with images i um didn't have any luck with um gifs or uh, of, or gifs i don't know i don't want to start the entire war in the section about how to pronounce that please don't um but if you want to import videos you would have to do that with the import and there you have the movie but that's i think um more straightforward to how to import uh, video so yeah guys this was the tutorial on how to import images into the timeline i hope you found it useful Leave a thumbs up if you found this tutorial useful and it's what you've been looking for. Comment, ask some questions about the program. I'll do my best to answer them, but I'm not an expert. I I learn as I go, honestly. And this is also something I, I wouldn't say recently, but I kind of figured out because I was just playing with the program. So I also invite you guys to just do that, try it out. Um, you'll probably like stumble upon something you didn't know before. So nothing can go wrong there i hope don't sue me if, the, if it does so yeah um subscribe if you're new to the channel let me know if i should do more clip studio paint tutorials because i can see you guys seem to enjoy those and i would be happy to supply if there is a, there is a demand and yeah of course if you're new to the channel leave a subscriber um hit the subscribe button i would really appreciate that and that's all i have to say for now so I'll just say this, don't forget to stay awesome.
Peace.